So, ito yung last question ko, Yorme, no? Nasa gitna tayo, ta- na, tayo ng pandemia, napaka grabe yung five quarters of recession. Baka late next year pa tayo magka- uh, magkaroon ng full recovery from the pandemic. So, the economy is a big issue. Maraming Pilipinas na walang trabaho, nagkakaroon ng uh, insecurities among others. Ikaw, base dun sa nagawa mo dito sa Manila at base dun sa mga pinag-aralan mo around the world, what is your plan to get the Philippines back on its foot and get it running no? and, and to make up for all of this lost time? Before going to the bigger country's economy, it's more on the microeconomic uh, mm-hmm. uh, situation of every family. And in our case, in, in the city of Manila, the, there's a part of what we call COVID-M, code M, contain, delay. The M is the mitigate. The mitigation of socio-economic impact of this pandemic sa buhay ng tao. So that's why, as you heard no, about two months ago, and we've been telling the people, the tax cuts that uh, we're going to introduce is cushioning. No, whatever hardship that we're... Uh, ano, magpaparaya lang ba yung gobyerno? Eh, taxes is... Uh, <laughs> lifeblood ng, 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 ng gobyerno yan for purposes of services. But there are things also na maliliit na bawas no? pero high impact kasi nagtitrickle down yung, yung epekto. So I, I went to the tax cuts of petroleum products and the electricity costs. Uh, para yun, initially, initially, mararamdaman kagad ng tao, ah, okay, may gobyerno na. Dininig na ako ng gobyerno. So, naibsan ako ng konti sa suliranin ko. But looking at the bigger picture, and I think uh, even, I hope, uh, sa, there are some econ- economists mm-hmm. who are watching this, would agree with me that for us to be competitive again in the region, mm-hmm. kailangan, we have to address our electricity costs. Mm, utility costs. Oh, oh. Grabe yung sa investment. <laughs> the FDI of the country is about $4 billion, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, our neighboring countries is about $13, $20, $33 billion. No? So what more we can do if we become competitive in terms of cost of productions, cost of creating uh, plants or fabrica or uh, facility here? Uh, eh, eh, sa totoo, may isang asset na nga tayo. Eh. Lingwahe. We can easily adapt. We can speak the sec- our second language is English, right? So, and dali natin mag-adapt. So that's a competitive edge, no? Then, mabait tayo as as neighbor, as yung oh, may pabrika jan. Mano tayo? Uh, ano hospitable ba tawag don? Oh, then, and dali natin matuto. And dali natin mag-adjust. So, and dami natin competitive edge, but they will never go to us. One. You have to be certain with your rules. Two, you have to be predictable. Three, what is it for them to come to our country? Uh, in terms of, I mean, business-wise. Uh, am I going to produce cheaper uh, costs? Uh, am I going to get it in a cheaper way? Uh, then, sa akin, uh, yung principle of delayed gratification. Magpaparaya tayo, pasok kayo dito, mura kami, pero if I can create jobs, now I'm creating the, the consumer uh, uh, ability to buy, acquire, because pag better ba ang tao, may pera, the purchasing power will be higher, then the evolution, yung, yung ikot ng pera, bibilis. Then alam mo na ang ending nun. Uuwi rin sa gobyerno yun, dahil lahat talos yun may buwis. May multiplier. Yes. But for the meantime, panatag yung tao mo, may trabaho. Kapag may trabaho ang tao, nag-aral yung anak niya, may ospital siya matatakbuhan. You know? panatag ang pamumuhay. Pag panatag ang pamumuhay, malaking cost na ginagastos natin sa peace and order mawawala. Kasi ang isang taong naghahanap, I grew up in the street. Always remember this. Eh. I grew up in the street. Kapag may hanap buhay ang tao, hindi mamimerwisyo ng kapwa niya. Hindi talaga batugan lang yung hold up na naging habit niya ng hold up o mamimerwisyo ng kapwa niya. Pero a normal person in his right mind, whether educated or uneducated like me, no, hindi kami nag-aral nung araw Ang gusto lang namin, may trabaho kami, may chicha kami Tapos tulog kami, panatag kami, hindi kami ma-hold up and Go to school, and so on and so forth So, pag yun na-address mo because of those simple uh, uh, financial engineering O oh, oh, yung counting tweet Then, naturally we will survive Now, I think it's high time also to open uh, some rules Tingnan mo 
Sino magtitiwala sa atin? Eh, totoo naman niloloko na. Eh, alam naman natin nangyayari ito. Sino maniniwala sa atin na hey, you cannot own X percentage, comfortable X percentage ownership to the company because it is prohibited by our law. But only to find out, they name it to some Filipinos and later on, <laughs> uh, it was taken away from them. Who will... Uh, Yeah, people talk. So you know, you you want amendments to sa ating sa ligang batas para It, magkaroon ng more competitiveness sa ating economy. That's why we elect mm -hmm. congressmen, we elect senators yeah. in a democratic form. No? We we continue to elect legislatures so that it will adhere or it will address mm -hmm. huh, huh, to the demand of time. It changes the course of law. No, yung 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 dahil may bagong demand no before ha, how can you ha, if there is no congress ito literal kung walang mga mambabatas paano tayo mag-uusap sa telepono ng wireless mm -hmm. right. but the law allows it it was uh, introduced uh, blah 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 then i think it's high time also upo mm -hmm. na natin to mm -hmm. paano natin sila invite anong cost and effect nito So, hindi po pwedeng matutulog tayo at mamumuhay tayo ha? 50 years ago, 30 years ago, o 40 years ago na wala namang naipoproduce na maayos. Now, if it's producing anything good, okay, let's stay that way. If not, time to wake up. Hello, hoy, gising na tayo. Oh, huwag na tayo mamuhay doon sa, sa uh, <laughs> yung lalaban, lalaban. Real world to. Hindi lang puso dapat may Discarded. Kailangan maabilidad ka sa buhay. And I think we've seen it with people who were very successful in life in their particular field of undertaking or even business. Ang ginamit nila abilidad because they adapt. And we should adapt also to the changing time and challenges. Now, there are things that we need to revisit. Now, so, sa akin, ang the next two years, No, ng, 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 ng administrasyon if, if given a chance life and livelihood doon lang muna ako in the next first two years then we'll continue whatever Duterte uh, uh, created about the build, build, build o oh, bakit? Eh, bayad yeah ano na yun bayad din ng buwis ng tao yun nandiyan na yun eh and if we wanted to create certainty with, with continuity in terms of private sector coming in the country doing business There is a level of continuity, and that's such a good continuity. Well, good. that's certain. Good continuity. Good oh, because it's certainty. Right. Oh, that's predictable. Na tayo. So business will come, and uh, hopefully, the perception in the world uh, na, na <laughs> ah masarap ulit magnegosyo sa Pilipinas, uh, and uh, it's cheaper uh, to go in the country to invest, and so on and so forth. So kailangan lang natin maging uh, in a way parang liberal uh, in, in the interpretations of our rules and openness uh, openness in such a way that uh, okay, bakit nga ba nagtatagumpay itong mga bansang itong dating mahigpit uh, sobrang mahal nila are we going to sell our soul as a country as Filipinos or are we just taking opportunity that are available and it was You know, na napupunta sa mga kapitbahay natin na imbis na sa atin. So, more adaptive, dynamic ang um, approach. Including, It, so bukas kayo, you're meant to possible change in the Anything. Anything I'm open. Mm -hmm. Anything that will create growth mm -hmm. to every Pilipinos, I'm for it. Mm -hmm. Anything that will create growth economically for the country, I'm for it. Mm -hmm. Anything that will continue and sustain the sovereignty of our country in the eyes of the world. I'm for it. Anything that we can build together in the world, with the world, no? I'm for it. Anything that is growth, I'm always into it. Doon ako, it's always about the growth. It's always about results. It's always about ano ang kapakinabangan natin bilang Pilipino at bilang bansa. Hindi na ito yung panahon na hinihimod-himod lang natin yung, 
yung mga pwet ng ibang banyaga at uh, napapagahasa tayo subservient lang tayo I, I think it's high time to use our geographical location in our advantage yeah, leverage that yeah. uh, exact. last one, that's the exact word yeah. uh, thank you for helping me the word <laughs> finding the the leverage, leverage <laughs> Geography and all that. Exactly. <laughs> and we know for a fact that it's nowadays, huh? nowadays with the situation, coming from there and coming okay. from here, we are here and they're there. So, I mean, technically speaking, I don't have to be, uh, the, I don't have the PhD, PhD in geopolitics. I mean, sometimes common sense is very common. <laughs> Hindi available sa Mercury drug. <laughs> Sad to say, but it's the. Just last point. 